Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Thursday. It is now 32 degrees and sunny and it's been sunny most of the day. It was sunny first thing this morning and it didn't get that cold last night. The low that I recorded here last night was 22. So it only got down to 22. It's 32 now. Uh, freezing in, in, uh, is 32, 33 in our uh, uh, temperature measurement. So uh, my water came back on. <laughs> Yep, about noon my water started flowing again and that makes things a whole lot easier. I had plenty of water. Uh, in fact, let me show you. So I've got some of these uh, collapsible five gallon uh, water things and uh, I have one of these left. So that's five gallon. And then I just, I have tons of these one gallon water jugs that I've saved. So I've got five gallons for me left and I had eight gallons for the chickens left and that would have done me uh, plenty until tomorrow uh, even without supplementing the melting snow so no more melting snow for me yeah, it was just a fun little thing to you know make sure we're prepared and I'm not out of the woods yet tonight it's forecast to get down to six degrees again but then uh, tomorrow back up into the upper 30s so uh, there's still a chance I could freeze again overnight but I think I'm I think I'm good. I've got a heat lamp in the uh, in the well house uh, aimed directly at the uh, uh, the reservoir pump. No, not the pump. The the pressure tank. Yeah, that's what it's aimed at. So and it gets down into the 20s at night here. You know, quite often in the winter. And I've never had a problem with the water freezing. But when it got below 20 degrees and stayed below uh, 20 degrees for an extended period of time, my little heat lamp just couldn't uh, couldn't manage that. Really, the only thing I could have done was buy a space heater that would have put out more heat than that heat lamp. I might have had a shot at keeping my water if I'd have done that. But uh, all the stores stores were already sold out. Not much you can do about that. So uh, what I've been doing is refilling all my, except for this one, I just emptied it, refilling these in case, you know, next couple of days might as well have extra gallons of water on hand for the chickens. Uh, let's see, neighbor just went by, I asked about the roads, and it seems the, um, the pavement is has been plowed, but I've got miles of dirt roads before I get to pavement. And so... Uh, yeah, I, I got nowhere to go in any hurry. All right, things are pretty good now that my water's back on. I can uh, have a nap, but I'm going to have a look around first. Another thing I wish I had prepared was having a, an extra set of boots on hand. I developed a crack in these yesterday, and uh, so my feet have been getting cold out here. Uh, but, yep, that's a minor thing. The chickens have pretty much been boring. Not a lot of excitement. Uh, not uh, for them. You know, for me, I'm coming out uh, every about every hour with some warm water to uh, to get them through the cold. And I ditch the waterers in favor of the uh, plastic water bowls or food bowls. I typically use those for food. But uh, I have been using those for water instead. Just easier to uh, dump them out, kick them to get the ice out of it, and then pour some fresh water in there. So that's what I've been doing on the waterfront. And they've mostly been sticking around. One thing I do regret not being prepared for is I wish I'd have put in a tarp over some of my hay so it would have been easier to access. And... I did dive into the hay and got some for inside their coops, but I didn't have enough to uh, to put uh, some outside of their coops. I just, you know, a little uh, four foot by four foot square outside their door just to give them a little bit more uh, room to roam. But it'll all be gone, if not tomorrow, the day after. So that would be the one thing I, I wish I would have done would be tarp some of the hay so I would have had some of that to spread around in front of their doors so they could enjoy the outside weather 
a little bit more than they are. Those are some beautiful Easter egg or hens. Yeah, that one on the end, uh, she's a little olive egg or pullet, but the, that brown one and that brown one, those are both Easter eggers. Very pretty birds. Hi ladies. I was just bragging about how pretty you are. Big Blue, the Blue Copper Morons Rooster. Is he a rooster now? How old is he? Eight, nine months? Yeah, that's almost rooster. I have not heard him crow yet, but I have seen him chasing the ladies, so that's a good sign that he might be a rooster. He's doing his job well, standing out front, protecting them. video up at the noisy neighbors our second video is up at the noisy neighbors shameless plug but seriously I spent hours many hours during the snowmageddon uh, putting that together and it was fun it's uh, it's a compilation of videos from both Dutch Creek Cabin and Bobblehead Homestead I kind of uh, put them together in chronological order and uh, it's about an hour long because <laughs> we've done a lot of stuff. It's, you know, it's like our greatest hits, 2017 to 2020. Uh, so, yeah, about an hour long, just clips of all of the videos of us uh, doing all kinds of stuff. You'll just have to go over there and give it a watch. Once again, thank you for getting us to 1,000 subscribers. Now we're shooting for that 4,000 watch hours mark which is why a long hour long video uh, will help us get those watch hours and it was it was funny drew sent me a message the other day he's like you know uh because we were planning on getting together this week and uh doing a live show here which uh you know hopefully that have been at least an hour long long video to help with our watch hours but with this uh snow and cold we did not have a chance to get together this week so uh, uh drew sent me a message he's like well what if we just put like clips together from our channels and did you know something like that and yeah i saw that message from him and i'd had the same idea i'm like yeah we that did uh that worked so i started putting it together and it was already like a half an hour long before i was done with 2019 or something like that so i just kept on going which is why it's an hour long, but it's a good, you know, everything's in there. All of our videos, for the most part. There are a few that I, that I missed out, but it's good video if you want to give it a watch and see what the history is between uh, the noisy neighbors. Okay, that's all I am going to have for today, and uh, I'm gonna have a nap. I might take it easy tomorrow too. It's, uh, yeah, it, it, not a lot of activity, but a ton of activity to keep up with my chickens. I'm uh, taking, you know, uh, a lot more trips to, around all the coops so, than I normally have to do because i got to keep their water fresh. And with that, I'll stop yapping. Thank you for watching. Thanks for everything. See you in a few days. Take her easy.